Good morning. I know I sound super excited today, y'all. I don't even know how long it's been since the last clip that I filmed for you guys, but today is Saturday and I'm so excited because my sister is actually coming in town from Richmond today to help me. So I'm going to take full advantage of her help. I have a ton of inventory that I need to get through, mainly want to get through like my planners and my binders, but I'm going to try to tackle as much as I can while she's here because y'all we literally are down to like the last two weeks before lunch and I haven't even unpacked everything yet. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start bringing the boxes so that everything is ready for when she gets here. We could just get to work. Welcome to the other room of chaos. So this is the rest of the inventory that I need to get through today. So yeah, let's get to it. So while I'm waiting on my sister to arrive, I decided to go ahead and give my fiddly fig a much needed facelift. She is so overdue. Homegirl has been living in her nursery can for over three years. So her roots were super root bound, y'all. She definitely was not trying to come out of that can. So I had to improvise. So I decided to lay her down and cut her out of the pot. I was being super careful not to damage her roots too much because we all know fiddly figs are super finicky. But after some time, I finally got her out of the can, y'all. She was finally free. Oh, y'all, she was so root bound, but I didn't even bother teasing her roots just because I didn't want to lose any leaves. I'm not taking no chances y'all but I think she'll be so much more happy in this pot I did have some leftover orchid bark so I'm just tossing that in with some charcoal and then topping it off with some potting soil so y'all know that I normally like to make my own potting mixture but for this I just grabbed whatever I had on hand so this soil was super dry y'all it has been sitting in my cabinet for over four years so I am making sure to give her a nice deep soaking. I did water her twice just to make sure that her roots are nice and saturated and she can get settled into her new home. Homegirl was also doing the gangster lean, so I had to give her a steak job. We're going to get her right. What I'm doing now is going through my quality check process. For every single box of inventory that I receive, I go through every single item, thoroughly inspect it just to make sure there's no imperfections. I want to make sure that all of my clients are getting the best quality possible. So this is how I've been storing my wallets. I've been keeping them in this storage unit that I've had since college. So I definitely want to move them out of this and into the other drawers. And then this is the current situation for my binders. The whole thing just collapsed. So yeah, we definitely need a better storage situation. I really trust my senses. Catch me if I fall. So done with second guessing. You seem to have it all. In love enough for anything emotional to soon. My invitation now the rest is up to you Kick it rendezvous Make some time for me and you Get you over, treat you right We vibing like a uh -huh. Kick it rendezvous Make some time for me and you Get together you and I We vibing like a uh -huh.
All right, y'all, progress update before I go make dinner for us. We got through all of my wallets and binders today. I feel so good about it, and they look so good, you guys. Like, look at this. <sighs> it just feels so good, like just having some organization. We literally went through every single one of these and inspected them. All of these are good to go. They've passed quality checks. Um, so I just put my old labels on here for now. They work, but I will come in and make some better labels for these. But yeah, y'all, wallets are good. And then these are all of my A6 binders. These are my old logo designs. So I'm really just trying to sell through these really quickly because I have some new ones that I'm working on. But yeah, they're all nice and stored away and everything just looks so sleek. So yeah, happy about that progress. And then lastly over here in this cabinet, I have my A5 planners. These are my Prima collection. They do come in two different colors, the brush and the onyx. And then I have a little bit of overflow that we just put up here temporarily because I know those will sell through really quickly. But yeah, y'all, it feels so good to have most of my inventory done. We literally counted everything. All I have to do is put the numbers on the website. I'm going to go ahead and make dinner. This was definitely a successful day. We'll be back tomorrow. Good morning everyone. So today is Sunday and I am talking kind of quiet just because my sister is still downstairs sleeping right now. But I just wanted to start my day off with really good vibes. So I did light a candle to help me relax. I've got my coffee and my gospel music going. I always start my Sunday mornings off with my gospel, you guys. That just gets me in the mood and gets my day off to a good start. So what I'm working on right now is writing out my to-do list for the day. I really like to have a nice plan for the day to help me be more productive and get things done. I'm also a lister, so I like to check things off just to make sure I'm hitting everything that I need to get done today. So for today, I do have a list of 10 things to do today, um, but I'm going to kind of group them. The top three that I want to accomplish are finish opening all of the inventory. I have a ton of boxes still I need to get through. I also want to start cutting out some of my boxes for the savings challenges. And then I also need to print out some of my budget seeds. So those are the main three things that we need to get done today. What I'm working on right now is updating my Etsy shop with all of the numbers that we went through yesterday. So I have a ton of updates, you guys. My inventory was way off, so I'm glad we're going through this now. Um, I'll probably start working on my actual website, maybe on like Wednesday. I'm still waiting on some other items to come in from Amazon as well as UPS this week. So yeah, you guys, I just want to make sure everything is here. All my labels are done. Like I want everything organized and ready to go to prepare for lunch. So I'm trying to do as much of the back work as I can up front. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and work through the rest of the numbers here, get the site updated, and then once she gets up, we'll start working on the inventory boxes. Okay, y'all, I am so excited to open these two boxes, y'all. I have been waiting on this shipment since June. So these are my new collection that I'm going to be launching this coming fall. And so I originally designed these back in March, and they arrived at the end of May, and I just wasn't really happy with the color that they arrived in. So I went back to the manufacturer, had them redo them, and here they are. So I'm so excited to show you guys. I cannot wait to see what they look like. Let's get into it, y'all. Oh, the anticipation. I just, <laughs> let me get myself together. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is gorgeous. Oh my. Oh yes, this is exactly what I wanted. So, oh you guys, okay, let me show you. Oh, this is so perfect. Okay, so these are the new A5 binders that I am gonna be launching and I just love this pattern, you guys. So I really wanted something that was more neutral, more elegant, and I am so happy with how these turned out. So these do still have my same logo that I have on everything that I sell. And then I also have the gold hardware. And then the inside is the same design as my Prima binders. So I just love the way these turned out. I think I, I'm definitely gonna be adding some more sizes in this style like this is so pretty so i do have my logo down here in gold and then i've got all of the pockets you guys so for my binders that i designed i really wanted a lot of storage i just y'all my binder and my planner is my life so i needed a lot of pockets for storage and then also a lot of pockets for decor as well i like to decorate my planner so you've got a ton of pockets here that i designed i also wanted the heart shape and then you've got card slots over here, more pockets in the back. So, yeah. And then this is what the back looks like. But oh, look at this leather pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and it feels so good and high end. Like, this is super good quality. So, this is actually the same manufacturer that make my wallets. I've been working with them for over a year now. And they always put out the best quality, you guys. So, I'm actually going to go through all of these just to make sure there's no imperfections in the leather, which I don't anticipate there to be any. Like this one looks perfect. Like I don't see anything wrong with this at all. So I'm gonna go through all of these just as I did with my wallets, um, just to make sure y'all are getting the best quality product possible. If there are any imperfections, I probably will sell them at a discounted rate. Um, chat, you guys, I am so, gosh, y'all, I am so happy with how these turned out. I cannot wait to get these out to you guys. So for these planners, you guys, I really had a hard time deciding on packaging, like how I actually wanted to ship them out to everyone. I really want the planners to be high end, like a luxury unboxing experience. So I looked at a lot of manufacturers that offer like the nice high end boxes, but y'all, they are so expensive to order. So for now, I decided to have them shipped in the same um bags that I have my wallets in. So I did have them make these in the larger size. Let me find my, my scissors to show y'all. Okay. So here is, yes, this is so cute. So here are the bags that I had them design for my planners. So they'll come shipped nice and protected. And this is like a really luxury bag. And I've had these since last year, you guys. I have them for my wallets. Ooh, as you guys saw, we were packaging them in this way. So I think for these, I'm just gonna leave them in the bags. Like I don't think I'm gonna use the plastic. So when I had the wallet ship last year, they already had them in the bags and a lot of them came like bent. So I asked her not to ship them in the bags. I wanted the bags shipped separately and I just bagged them myself just because some of them came bent, like the way that they, I think they had them like this and then the way they were bent up against each other, some of my wallets were damaged. So I'll just package them myself and I like that because I'm super picky, you guys. Like I like to go through every single binder, make sure there's no imperfections so that y'all are getting the best quality product as possible. So yeah, I just, I love this so much, you guys. This looks so good, so high end and luxe and maybe eventually down the road I will get like custom boxes made for these but for now I think the bags really, really work and you can use these bags for any, like. You also can repurpose these bags as well, but I just love how soft they are. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this box, get everything inspected, and then we'll move on to the next items. What 
Okay, first box down. So this pile over here are all of the good ones. These over here are all the ones that have imperfections. And I'm going to just show you guys, like I expected some to have some imperfections just because when you're dealing with mass production, that's just what happens. So if you can see here, there's like a stain. So yeah, I definitely would not sell that to a customer. And then let's see what was wrong with this one. This one has some marks down here as well. So yeah, that's just something that happens when you're dealing with mass production. Here's another example. This one has like a green stain on it. So yeah, I always make sure that I'm selling you guys the best quality product. y'all so it is hours later and I had to come out of that hoodie because it's so hot but we are finally down to the last box of inventory so let me show you guys what these are because I am so excited to be incorporating these into my shop so my zipper envelopes have been my highest selling envelopes but I wanted to start adding in the tabbed envelopes so I'm so excited about these let me open a pack to show you Okay, so here is the first set that I'm going to be offering. And these are new, high quality envelopes. So these do come with the blank tabs, so you can label what categories you want. I also will be offering these in custom form as well. So these are actually the vertical diagonal pouch, so you slide your dollars in this way. And then I'm not sure if I wanna have them customized here or across the bottom or how I wanna do that, but so excited about these, you guys. So I looked at several different manufacturers that offer these and a lot of them came too narrow so that if you had a bunch of dollars, like more than $5 stuffed in one, it wouldn't fit. So I love how like thick these are. Super good quality and definitely sturdy so you can reuse them. So I will have these available in a diagonal tab. And then I also have, let me see if I can dig the box and find the other ones. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. These are all these are all the diagonal tab ones. I think I ordered like a thousand, y'all. So set all these aside. Okay, so I also got them in A7 size as well. So here's what these look like. So these actually don't have the tabs, but they're the same A7 size envelopes for my wallet. And I offer these in personalized customization. So I just really like the idea of having plastic. I feel like they're more durable. So I will have these in A6 size as well as A7. And then I also got them in A9 size as well. So I can't wait to show y'all those. 
Um, let me see where the other ones are. Okay, so here's the A6, I think. Yes, so here's the A6 size. So I do have these with no tabs. I do plan on adding these with the tabs as well. The only ones I have with tabs are the vertical pouch right now, but I will be adding more to the shop. So yeah, you guys definitely stay tuned. I'm so excited about these. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack this box. Oh, let me show you the, this is not A9. Let me go find some A9 ones to show you. Okay, so here are the A9 and this is what they look like. And I did get my logo customized at the very bottom of these. It's so small, y'all can't see from back there. But I got these specifically for my savings box challenges. So these you'll fold your dollar in half and fit them in here like this. So I am so excited about the boxes, you guys. I will have them in very limited quantities. So definitely stay tuned. But I'm gonna go ahead and work on unpacking this last box. And then I have some items I need to cut and then we have some errands to run as well. So. Let's get to it. All right, y'all. So I finally have unpacked the last box. Like, oh, it feels so good to finally be able to say that. Like, this has been a long time coming. I really wanted to get through all of my boxes just because the boxes are really dirty in handling and shipping. I didn't want to put them on my brand new rug, which I'm about to put down next. So I'm excited to show y'all that. But let me show you what these are. This is my collection of home decor that will be launching this fall. So first off, I have this really pretty black vase. Like, look at this, you guys. It is so gorgeous. Like, I love the wave pattern detail. So this is the small version. This one is called Rowan. And then I also have it in a shorter, wider style. I think it's in this one. Yeah. So this is the large version of Oan. So very similar. Um, but let me kind of hold them up so you can see both of them. Let me see if I can do this. Here we go. So there's a look at them side by side. So the one on the right is a little taller and skinnier. And this one is shorter and more round. So I have these two in black. And then I also was able to get the small Rowan in this pretty oatmeal ivory color. So let me show you this one. So here's a look at this one, y'all. Like, look at that wave pattern. I think it's so gorgeous. So I have them in tan and black. They do also have them available, I think, in like three other colors. I was really interested in purchasing the white, but the white was out of stock. They also were out of stock of the large size. I could only get black in the larger size. So I will have these available on my website. And then I also have two other styles to show y'all as well. So this first one, I also, I got them in the same colors, by the way. So I have them in black and ivory. Here's a look at the first one. Isn't that cute? Oh, I just think it's so cute and modern. So this one is called Iris. This is the matte black. And then I also have it in the ivory as well. So there's what the ivory looks like. I think they are so pretty. You can style these however you want. You can set them in a corner or on a tabletop, just completely empty. You can also put potpourri in them. You can add some cute little floral decor or some pompous grass. I actually plan on using these as some cute plant stands for some small four inch pots. I really want to start incorporating my own line of plant pots, y'all. Y'all know I'm a plant lady, so future planning coming down the line. But yeah, I'm gonna start with these, see how these do, and then I may go back and design my own and get them made with my logo or something put on them. So I'm so excited about these. So let me go ahead and get through the rest of the inventory. I need to count how many of these I have, put them on the sheet, and then we'll put down my rug. OMG, y'all. Like, when I tell you this ties in my whole room, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm so in love with it. So me and my sister just put down my brand new rug, and y'all, this fits 
perfectly. When I tell y'all, I was so scared that this was going to be too big for my room. Literally measured this to a T. Like, it is butt up right up against my cabinet here. Same thing over on this side. So I have a little bit of overlap here, which I think I could just slide the rug over just a hair. But y'all, when I tell y'all, it fits the dimensions perfectly. Like, I have some books over here holding down the corner, but it goes right up against the wall. And then, I'm trying not to make y'all dizzy, sorry. <laughs> and then over here, literally lines up right with my carts here. So this is a nine by 13 rug. It is from the My Texas House collection. I love all of her rugs. I've been wanting one for years. They're so expensive, y'all, especially for the larger size. This rug was supposed to be over $600, but I was able to catch this on the, oh, I think it was the Way Day, Way, some sale that Wayfair was having where it was 70% off. So yeah, I'm so in love with this rug, y'all. I was really debating on getting the one that had the gray on the inside, but I think the natural looks really, really pretty. Like, let me give y'all a close up. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the pattern and all of her patterns are gorgeous, you guys. So definitely check out her website. I know her rugs are also sold in Walmart as well. So if you have a smaller area, definitely check out My Texas House. But yeah, you guys, I am so in love with the rug. It looks perfect. It brightens up the room even more now that I got rid of this like tan carpet. So yeah, loving the rug. I do need to go ahead and put together this cart that I picked up from Michaels. It's in my J Lux green, y'all. So y'all know as soon as I saw this, I had to grab it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. Hey y'all, so it is like 2, 2.30 in the morning, something like that. I am exhausted. My sister tapped out on me, so it's just me now. But I wanted to give you guys an update on the progress that we made. We got a ton done. Like we literally got through all of the inventory. I feel so good about. So I have all my numbers that I can update on the website. Sorry y'all, my voice is like, I'm exhausted, <laughs> you guys. So sorry about my voice. Um, but yeah, we got through all the numbers, so I have every piece of inventory. We literally hand counted every single item. I have all those numbers on a sheet, and I can put those on the website. But let me show you guys the dent that we made in this back room. Ta-da! So yes, I know it still looks super crazy, but Jensen, be careful. Anywho, this is the rest of the inventory that we did count. I've counted everything in here. I just was not able to fit this in my actual office or in my storage closet. So really quickly, I'll run through the items with y'all. This stack over here is the rest of my tree skirts and stockings. Down in front are my vases. And then this stack of boxes and this stack of boxes over here are actually stock of inventory for a new line that I haven't even started working on yet. So yeah, that is soon to come. And then in the bins here and the box up here, that is the rest of my holiday decor and like sweatshirts and hoodies and stuff. So yeah, y'all, it still looks crazy, but this is the progress update. Oh, and then my egg chair over here, I did have to take apart because it's so wide that I couldn't fit it through any of my door frames or down my stairwell to move it out of the office. So I actually ended up having to take the back off as well as the top just to get it to fit through my door frame sideways. So it's here for now, not sure where it's going, but yeah, y'all, this is the progress update on this room. And then here is the rest of the stuff that we got through. So I got rid of my little broken storage bin here. I've got all of these boxes done, you guys. Like, look at this. So we did break down most of them, but all of this is trash, you guys. Well, recycle. So cannot wait to get this stuff out of here on Friday, which is my trash day. But yeah, y'all, feels good to have inventory done.